Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Being Engineer. Our today's topic is about the shape of column. Which shape of column is better? Circular or square or rectangular? We will have a comparison between the shape of a column that is circular or rectangular or square shape column. Which column shape is better? There are different types of shapes of column. But first of all, what is column? The column is a vertical member as you can see column is a vertical member which transmits loads of a structure from beam and slab to the foundation. The effective depth of a column exceeds three times its lateral dimension. Usually the column carries axial load in compression. There are different types of columns as you can see circular column, square column or rectangular column or there could be L shaped or T shaped column or Y shaped columns. But commonly used shapes of columns are circular, square or rectangular. But we cannot prefer one shape over another shape because every shape has its own significance. First of all, one should understand one thing that is of much concern about the shape of column is strength. Now the strength of column depends upon the shape of the column. Obviously, as we are discussing which shape of the column is better, the strength of the column depends upon the shape, its size, its length, and cross-sectional area but don't forget the most important point the quality of the material which plays a vital role in the strength of the column so these are the few factors on which strength of the column depends now what is square column or rectangular column these are commonly used in construction of buildings and heavy structures it is easier to construct and cost whereas the circular column is used in piling and building for aesthetical purposes for beautification etc. It is not easier to construct and cast as compared to square or rectangular column because of its shattering and form work. Now let's start the comparison between the shape of the column that is circular or rectangular or square column. The column choice is always an optimization process as I mentioned that the the choice of column is not yours. It is an optimization process. It is the combination of architectural requirements. Number second, structural demands. Number three, construction stability. So one cannot prefer one shape over the shape because it is the combination of optimization process like architectural requirements, structural demands and construction stability. The first point is Circular column has higher resistance to bending moment and deflection than rectangular section. Circular cross section have the same buckling resistance around their perimeter whereas rectangular cross section might have different buckling resistances along different axes. As you can see, we have a circular column and a rectangular column. The centroidal axes have equal distance from the edges of the column. So, it have higher resistance to the bending as compared to the rectangular one. The next point is circular section can use spiral type stirrups which is more effective than square shape stirrups. So circular cross section will have a higher column compression capacity as compared to square or rectangular section with the same stirrup ratio. As you can see here, here we have used the spiral stirrups which are more stronger as compared to the this type of stirrups. Within circular column the one with helical stirrups provide 5% more strength in compression to the normal circular stirrups as you can see in this picture this is a continuous bar and there is no joint between the ties so it's provide 5% more it provide 5% more strength in comparison to the normal circular stirrups. The next point is circular section will have same moment capacity in all directions. If the section area is equivalent with the square rectangular section, the moment capacity will be almost the same. As you can see here, if the diameter of the circular section is equal to the side of the rectangular section, the moment capacity of circular section will be the same in all directions. Number five point, 
in case of earthquake if the seismic source can be estimated accurately and thus the direction of long distance earthquake can be predicted accurately then use of rectangular section with longer side parallel to the earthquake direction may be more effective to resist large earthquake loads as you see here there is a rectangular column and it is in the direction of the earthquake if the direction of the earthquake can be predicted accurately if the earthquake comes from the direction facing the longer side of the column then rectangular section with longer side parallel to the earthquake direction may be more effective to resist large earthquake loads but if the source of earthquake is near the vibration will come from random direction then the circular section will be more effective the next point is for small houses buildings we require large open space so we prefer as i mentioned there are different types of shapes of columns like l shape column so for small houses and buildings we prefer l shape columns that is because that will be better than the circular section circular column is symmetric about any centroidal axis whereas square column have four axes of symmetry minimum number of bars required for circular column is 6 while for square column is 4 if square column has the same side of the column as the diameter of the circular column circular column has a smaller cross sectional area yani it occupies less space circular column occupies less less space as compared to square or rectangular column that is 0.785 times the square column but larger second moment of area that is moment of inertia which is equal to 1.178 times the square column moment of inertia means more resistant to bending or buckling it's mean that circular cross section provides more resistance to bending or buckling as compared to as compared to square or rectangular columns the circular column is less prone to buckling and may require more reinforcement to carry the same load as that of square column as i mentioned that minimum number of bars required for a circular section is 6 and for square shape is 4 form work for square column is easy to assemble due to straight sides and is economical as well circular columns are aesthetically pleasing last but not the least there are no weak points in the round column while square shape has four weak points due to corner edges but in the end it is pertinent to mention that the column choice is always an optimization process it is a combination of architectural requirements structural demands and construction stability that's all for today don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell icon so that you can get my latest videos